Happy Halloween, guys. Say it back. No, seriously, this is my favorite holiday of the entire year. I love Halloween. I love horror and scary movies. I love creepy pastas. That is my go-to genre. I love it. I cannot get enough of it. I started celebrating this stuff back in September. So this video, I'm doing something completely different than I've ever done. And it's actually something very special. So I really do hope you enjoy it. But Beerus... He is not the first destroyer god. He is not the first destroyer god, obviously, in Dragon Ball. And he's also not the first destroyer god in all of pop culture. He has a lot of his power and job title thanks to certain characters in pop culture that have had this same career. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. And also, make sure if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, that way you never miss an episode. And these are today's hashtag end of video squad winners. These are the brave souls that I've watched till the end of my videos. The very end, watched the entirety of the thing, and then gone into the comment section, posted their comment with the hashtag end of video squad. If you would like to join them, make sure you do that. Watch till the end of this video. Drop your comment for a chance to be featured in my next video. I have a very special guest for you today and he is going to tell you and explain to you some of the lore behind one of the most powerful and enigmatic destroyer gods in all of pop culture and how he relates to our lord and savior lord beerus and that is my boy elenius whose channel is going to be featured in the description below and the top comment make sure you check out his content because he's got great stuff on there and today he is going to be talking about cthulhu What's up, Black Squad? My name is Alanius, a fellow Dragon Ball fan and YouTuber. I just wanted to say thank you to Blackscape for allowing me to come on his channel and help him make a video. It's an even greater opportunity to be able to, to share one of my more recent passions with all of you. In his house at Riley, dead Cthulhu waits streaming. This is a more recognizable quote from H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos. It is a quote spoken by cultists who worship the great dreamer, Cthulhu. It is thought this chant can either invoke great Cthulhu, spread word of him, or perhaps one day awaken him. Long ago, when the earth first became fertile, when water rushed to the surface and plants began to grow, two alien species from the furthest most stars arrived. The star spawn and their master Cthulhu and the Elder Things. For thousands of years, the two races raged war over supplies and land. However, one day, through some sort of means, the star spawn and the Elder Things came to an agreement. The Star Spawn would have the sea and construct their giant lost city of Raleigh and the Elder Things. As days turned into years and years turned into centuries, the Elder Things were slowly wiped out by their own slave race. And the Star Spawn's city, Raleigh, sunk underneath the ocean waves, never to be seen again. And there, their master, Great Cthulhu, laid in a death-like sleep. And as humans began to populate the Earth, Great Cthulhu reached out to them in their dreams, whispering fantasies and things that they couldn't help but refuse. Slowly, Cthulhu's influence began to grow little by little. 
cults began to develop in low-income countries, and whispers began to spread amongst them that when the stars align just right, Riley will rise from the oceans once more, and great Cthulhu will awaken from his death-like sleep. And then, there'll be no saving mankind. It's interesting to point out here that great Cthulhu and Lord Beerus share a similar attribute. The two of them are, well, world-enders. When both of them awaken, some sort of species will be wiped out of existence forever. At the same time, though, Great Cthulhu and Lord Beerus don't share much else in common. Beerus has an inherent personality, while Great Cthulhu is beyond our understanding. He isn't good or evil. He doesn't just destroy but he spreads chaos. It is highly suspected that those humans who do survive the Great Dreamer's return will become his slaves and be taught how to enjoy themselves in a holocaust of ecstasy and violence. We could also compare Lord Beerus to Neolethotep, one of arguably the most powerful beings in H.P. Lovecraft's universe. The crawling chaos the Black Pharaoh, the man with many faces. Neolethotep is known by a lot of names, and for a good reason. Unlike the other outer gods and the great old ones, Neolethotep is not trapped behind some sort of veil or other dimension. He wanders as freely and as will willfully as he wishes. He is the soul and will of the divine pantheon. He, unlike any of his brethren, has an inherent personality. He enjoys madness. He sees human beings as toys, as puppets to play with. And he loves every second of it. Neolethotep can blend in to any crowd. He can take any form that his mind wishes bend reality to however he sees fit. And just like Lord Beerus, if he wanted to, he could annihilate us in an instant. But just like Lord Beerus, he doesn't. He finds entertainment from us. Lord Beerus is more played off as a comedic slash deus ex machina character. However, Neolethotep and Great Cthulhu are more of divine forces. Horrible extensions of some greater powers being simple influencers, if you may. Again, similar to Beerus. But unlike them, Beerus has the privilege of thinking for himself. Whilst these abominations, they are simply something else. I would argue that Great Cthulhu and Neolethotep are more terrifying than Lord Beerus could ever be. Not because they are more powerful, arguably, but because they are unpredictable, but because we can't understand what they are. Tell me in the comments below, which of the following is most terrifying to you? A large humanoid house cat with the power to annihilate an entire universe. Sheerly at a whim, but most likely won't due to the interesting people and the delicacies. An alien doomsday lurking underneath the sea that at any moment can rise up and snuff out mankind as we know it. Or a monstrosity that hails from the furthest corners of unknown space, willing to take on any form that it pleases just to pick with you, to throw you around like a meaningless puppet, and it could be anyone or anything, even the person sitting beside you. I find it funny how interesting conversations like these could be, 
especially in the context of psychological effects. For I'm a bit of a... I wouldn't say scholar, because that would sound... What's the word? Self-assertive, but rather knowledgeable about aspects of psychology. At the end of the day, Lord Beerus, Great Cthulhu, and Nero Lathotep all hold different responsibilities. And neither one of them is better than the other. So please, let's keep that in mind in the comment section below. And let's have a discussion about this. I hope all of you have a very, very scary Halloween. Well, there you have it, guys. That is how Cthulhu relates to Lord Beerus. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you reach this point of the video, then you are now part of the hashtag and the video squad. Make sure you give yourselves a pat on the back and go to the comment section below. That way you can go ahead, put your comment down there with the hashtag and the video squad for a chance to be featured in my next video. Today, I'm going to be responding to... Hoku Rose. So this version of our boy Gohan would just know every skill and technique by the end of the series. Yes, absolutely, because Gohan is a scholar. If he's not learning in books, he's going to be learning every martial art that he can and mastering it. He has the most potential that's being wasted in Dragon Ball right now because of the fact that he is a student of whatever he follows. And if he was a student of martial arts, he would be the greatest of them all. Thank you so much for your comment. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content. Oh,